What's up, you guys? I just wanted to quickly recommend this book called Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art by James Nestor. Much like the book Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker that I recommended not too long ago, this is a book that everyone can benefit from. It's just very useful and powerful information that can potentially change your life for the better if you pay attention to it, if you implement the exercises and techniques brought forth in the book. So I'm just going to read the summary of the book. A fascinating scientific, cultural, spiritual, and evolutionary history of the way humans breathe, and how we've all been doing it wrong for a long, long time. No matter what you eat, how much you exercise, how skinny or young or wise you are, none of it matters if you're not breathing properly. There is nothing more essential to our health and well-being than breathing. Take air in, let it out, repeat 25,000 times a day. Yet, as a species, humans have lost the ability to breathe correctly, with grave consequences. Journalist James Nestor travels the world to figure out what went wrong and how to fix it. The answers aren't found in pulmonology labs, as we might expect, but in the muddy digs of ancient burial sites, secret Soviet facilities, New Jersey choir schools, and the smoggy streets of Sao Paulo. Nestor tracks down men and women exploring the hidden science behind ancient breathing practices like pranayama, sudarshan kriya, and tumo, and teams up with pulmonary tinkerers to scientifically test long-held beliefs about how we breathe. Modern research is showing us that making even slight adjustments to the way we inhale and exhale can jumpstart athletic performance, rejuvenate internal organs, halt snoring, asthma, and autoimmune disease, and even straighten scoliotic spines. None of this should be possible, and yet it is. Drawing on thousands of years of medical texts and recent cutting-edge studies in pulmonology, psychology, biochemistry, and human physiology, breath turns the conventional wisdom of what we thought we knew about our most basic biological function on its head. You will never breathe the same again. So once again, I highly recommend that every single one of you read or listen to this book. Like I said, I believe it has the power to change each and every one of our lives. Even if you already practice breath work, you may even already practice without knowing it, all of the techniques that are in this book, you might already know them. I still think it's a good book. It's it's interesting. It's it's fascinating. There's a, I mean, I guess the fact that many of these techniques, which you may or may not have heard of, you may or may not be already doing, um, they've been put to the test scientifically. And that information is very interesting to me, at least, uh, to hear about. So yeah, that's it. Um, check it out. Another book that I, again, that I think is just as impactful is Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. I'll put a uh, link to it up here as well as at the end of this video. And yeah, two books that are very powerful, that can, that can change your life and that have nothing to do with, like I said, I've been making these videos about paranormal experiences. I talk about dreams and sometimes things that could be considered like spiritual perspectives. These have nothing to do with any of that. It's just actual techniques which have been proven to work and they talk about the proof in the book, in both books, and um, yeah, I think that especially if you have a hard time with life, if you feel like you're struggling, focusing on fundamental, you know, step one, breathing, um, something like sleep, this is like, you know, every day, Focusing on these daily things that are just fundamental parts of life and fine-tuning them, tweaking them, um, changing your habits surrounding these things, begin to change everything else, everything else that comes after these, these basics. So it's a really easy place to start if you're looking to improve your life.
So have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching and take care.